Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer. And the question I got today is, Teddy, how do I add new skills to my LinkedIn profile? And it's really pretty easy. If you've never done it, let me give you some insights who can help you. So this is my LinkedIn profile. If I scroll down to the skills section, so this is the skills and endorsements sections. I really encourage you not to worry too much about endorsements. Let those happen organically. But this is the new way of adding skills to your LinkedIn profile. It looks all the same, but look here, add new skill. This brings up the pop-up box and you can see that first of all, LinkedIn is making some recommendations for you, but you can go up here and you can type, you, you can see I can add four more skills so you go right here and you just type in, uh, start typing in some words, and then look. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a pro, uh, project management. Okay, so there there's project management. Okay, now I can go up here and and highlight project, hit space bar, and then maybe project planning, and then I can go up here and hit project, and then maybe I do Microsoft project. See, it's stacking them up, and I can add one more. There's project again, and maybe I go to project. Uh, uh, management office and now I have all 50 uh, because I now have reached my limit and I, and I can add these four to my LinkedIn profile just by hitting the add button. Now once you've added new skills here's a, a feature that you really should consider and that is what's called pinning the top three like in my case LinkedIn training, LinkedIn speaker, national sales trainer. If I hit show more you can see that I have, here's the ones that are pinned. Here's uh, skills under industry knowledge. Here's skills under tools and techniques. These are called functional areas, interpersonal skills, and uh, other skills. Okay, now go back to the top. This is what's really interesting. Hit the pencil. Now I can reorder my skills, okay? And so I can unpin, if I want to, I can unpin this. These are the top skills that are that are pinned, the top three are featured. I can unpin that. Now I have two, and I can come down here and I can pin, you know, business development. And now I have three. Now if I want business development on the top, click on this, hang on to it, and I can drive this up top, okay, and put business development above the LinkedIn speaker and national sales manager. I can also delete if I want to, or I can unpin this, and go back down and find my LinkedIn training skill and pin that. And if I go back up top, there's my LinkedIn training. I'll move that up top above national sales. And actually, I move it all the way up top. There's this one in the middle training, speaker, and national sales trainer. Now, furthermore, I can't pin anymore, but I can come down here in each of these functional areas and I can make a decision whether or not I want to move these around. So I might want to move consulting up into strategy. Okay, I may want to move social media communications up above marketing. Okay, And then furthermore, I can come in each of these functional areas. I can take and move around the different skills in the functional area or I can delete them. One last thing to show you is edit of the adjust endorsement settings. I click on that. And then you can see that I have three options. I want to be endorsed, yes or no. Include me endorsement suggestions, yes to my connections, yes or no. And show me suggestions for me to endorse my connections, again, yes or no. Make those adjustments and then hit the X. And then it kicks you out of skills and endorsements and you're done. And if you see that you have something you don't want, or if you see you don't have any order you want to have it in, again, go into the pencil, edit, delete a skill, reorganize a skill, or and or pin a skill. I am Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist and coach, and I hope that's helpful.